Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania, Zone 6. And so today I wanted to share with you some tips and ideas on how you can plant Waltham butternut squash in your garden. And these are the seedlings or transplants that I have. So thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. So these Waltham butternut squash, you know, these are one of my favorite winter squashes for storage. You know, they really store a really long time. In fact, I still have a couple more in my garage where I store these. But anyhow, I have here a pack of seeds of the uh, squash and behind it just has some information about the squash itself that I thought I would share here before I plant these seedlings in the garden. I ended up getting the seedlings locally from uh, Ray's Nursery over there in Telford, PA. But it says here Waltham butternut is one of my, the most popular varieties. It's very uniform, 8 to 10 inch fruits, have thick cylindrical necks and a very small seed cavity. Rind is a creamy tan and the yellow orange flesh has delicious sweet and nutty flavor. And it stores well and it's heavy yielding. And uh, I'm going to be planting th these seedlings here in my uh, garden back here in my potato patch area. So follow me along. So I'm going to be planting these right here in front of me in this mound. Uh, they, because, you know, squash, they love to be planted in raised beds or in mounds. And so let's get started planting these. You know, buying seedlings uh, or transplants gives you a nice jump start on the season. And you do want to make sure you have a good six to eight hours of sunlight for these uh, butternut squash and plenty of room to spread. Does these spread, these plants can spread their vines out, you know, four to five feet in both directions. And so what I have a pack of four here. I'm just going to plant two here about uh, two feet apart in these mounds. And so, you know, these, these mounds were, uh, are composted um, wood chips that I got a couple years ago and so they, they've created these mounds have created a nice area for planting these and so I'm simply just going to take these out of the pack here and uh, dig a hole with my hands the soil's nice and loose so it's really something easy to do and then plant these about two feet apart I also have some some raised planters down below in my pumpkin patch area below the pond that I'm going to be planting a couple of these in my other raised beds. But right here in this area they have plenty of room to grow so I just wanted to plant a couple right here. And then I'm also going to cover these with a, a wire fence section to keep the deer off of them. And now that I have these well watered and you want to make sure you keep an eye on them during the growing season make sure you keep them well watered. And then I have this fence section here that I'm going to just cover these plants with. These are two inch by four inch sections and these are just scrap sections or remnant pieces that I had from fencing. And this is going to keep the deer off of these plants until they get large. It's only when the seedlings are really tiny and small that I really worry about the uh, deer eating them. But, but anyhow, it's uh, really something simple to do and to grow in your garden. I would really encourage you to think about growing these Waltham butternut squash. They are our favorites and they're great for storage. And you know how I bake them is really a really simple process because you know trying to cut these squash up you have to peel them and then try and cut them and you know it's kind of sometimes like trying to get through a, a tree trunk you know they're really hard to do but what I just do is I bake these for about an hour or so until they're nice and the skin's nice and brown and and then I you know I bake them whole and then uh, then once they're baked they're nice and soft and then I 
then I can cut them up and remove the seeds. And so it's a really simple and effective way to, to uh, prepare your butternut squash. In fact, I did a video on that. So anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section below. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com. And there you can learn more about gardening and also how you can reclaim your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based lifestyle. Well, anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.